Hello, everyone. Welcome. My name is Jennifer Feek. I'm a sales representative and managing partner at Forest Hill Concept and the proud sponsor of Park Bench Downtown Milton. On today's episode, we have the pleasure of learning and getting to know uh, Colin Acham. Colin is the owner of Simply for Life here in Milton, which opened its doors in 2018. Simply for Life empowers people in our community to achieve their ultimate health by adopting simple yet profound nutrition and lifestyle changes. Thanks so much, Colin, for agreeing to join me today. Thanks for having me. To start us off, I was wondering if you could tell us what made you choose the healthy living industry? Got into health and nutrition about, I don't know, about 14, 15 years ago. Uh, working in the corporate world, I was like working, traveling a lot, eating on the company's dime, entertaining clients, and uh, you eventually get large. Or, uh, I got fat at the end of the day. Let's call a spade a spade. And uh, about 14 years ago, one day at Sunday dinner, uh, my mother walked, I left, I've told this story a lot to the people in the store, my mother walked up to me, rubbed her hands on uh, on my, my belly and said, how far along are you, son? And uh, that was the straw, pretty much the straw that broke the camel's back for me. So at that point in time, I started looking and changing my uh, lifestyle, changing everything around to get back into shape. And uh, I don't know, four or five years ago, corporate life stopped, stopped being fun anymore. Uh, it just, it, it stopped being, it stopped being about the, at least where I was, it stopped being about the customer and about your, uh, and about servicing the customer and keeping your employees happy. And it started being about the the almighty dollar at the end of the day while we were making tons of money at the, I don't, never understood it. But uh Stop being fun, and I wanted to make a change. And uh, if I, was, I figured if I was working this hard for someone else, I might as well do it for myself. And uh, always been interested in health at, uh, and fitness at that point in time. So I, I looked for something in that in, the, in that industry and found Simply for Life, and here we are today. Simple as that. Awesome. So then, why Simply for Life and not another franchise or solo venture? So I was I was in my late late for mid to late forties at that point in time, and I did. Didn't want to start from scratch, so I was looking for a phrase, and uh, you would be surprised how little there is out there, to tell you the truth. So, if you wanted to open a gym, yeah, you could. There was tons of gym franchises. Didn't want to go there. Um, I looked at uh, healthy restaurants. There was a couple restaurants I was looking at as well, too, for franchises. And uh, in hindsight, really glad I didn't go down that particular road, given what we're going through right now. Uh, and then I don't know, I searched for about three or four months and I couldn't find anything. And then one day I was on the third page of Google and, uh, came across this teeny little company out in uh, New Brunswick simply for life. And they actually weren't looking for franchisees out in uh, Ontario. I was actually the first Ontario franchisee. So I, I did a bunch of research on them, flew out, met them going back and forth for um, about a month or so. And the reason I chose simply for life is because their values and my values completely intertwined. They're all about a healthy lifestyle through food, uh, eating real food, following uh, their, their, a lot of their stuff is based on the Mediterranean diet, which is, which is a blue zone diet, which is pretty much what I follow to begin with at the end of the day. And uh, everything about them and what my personal philosophies jived. And so it was, it was a match made in heaven at that point in time. It's that simple. Perfect. It sounds, you know, interesting how sometimes we stumble across, right, a variety of things or things that sometimes we don't even know that we're we're looking for. If you had told me 15, 20 years ago that I would be where I am today, I would have laughed at you. It's crazy. So many people think of Simply for Life uh, as a health food market, which we know it is, but there's so much more than that. Can you share a little bit more about some of the other services that you offer? Well, interestingly enough, Simply for Life, oh, I, the, the, the food market's actually evolved only over the last uh, six or seven years. Simply for Life was founded, I don't know, about 21 years ago, Bruce Sweeney, and he was, uh, he was a nutritionist, and he, he, was, uh, he helped, actually, at that, back in the day, he was helping bodybuilders get to the perfect nutrition, and then it, it started, it, all, it branched out into weight loss, and up until recently, I would say maybe uh, six or seven years ago, the primary focus was on nutrition coaching and then uh, teaching people into healthy lifestyles and getting away from all the sugar and the junk that we eat. And this was all about changing your lifestyle. It's all about, it's a permanent change. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle at the end of the day. The predominant focus of uh, Simply for Life has been on the nutrition coaching. And what, but basically what, what, how it evolved was that people were saying like, okay, you're telling us to eat all this healthy food. Where, where, where do I get it? So 
slowly but surely, we started putting a, small, a few things into the store, into the marketplace, and the marketplace has evolved and grown into what you see today. It's actually, in, over the next few years, it's actually going to grow a lot larger as well as we as we bring on more and more healthy foods into the marketplace. But a lot of people know Simply for Life Milton, especially for the, our marketplace cup. It's, it's, it's grown into that, but you are correct. The, the, the large portion of our focus is actually on nutrition coaching and getting people to be aware of what they put into their bodies and how changing their lifestyle can change how their outlook and, and uh, how they feel, how they look. For us, it's a, it's a cycle of getting back to the way we used to eat and that we've evolved to eat as, as a species, as human, a natural, a natural way of eating at the end of the day. Thanks for that. I know that I definitely appreciate having the ability to come in and ask questions about the products, right? Or see a variety of things or say, what does this really taste like? So what's the most memorable experience you've had working with a customer? The, the satisfaction we get and the, the why we do why we do what we do is to see a complete and total transformation in 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 a in a person. It's one of the most satisfying things when you when you can make a profound difference in someone's life and it's a it's a permanent change, and you've you've changed that person's life for the rest of their lives. It's 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 an amazing feeling. There's always a light bulb moment, and you see it in the person's eyes when when they finally understand what's going on and how what they what what's clicked and how all of a sudden everything starts to work towards the right direction. I, I, lo I look forward to it. I love those moments. It's so great to see you get excited like that, right? It's what I, drives I love what I do. Right? our business. I love what I do. Yeah. Well, my mother told me, what is it? Find something you love to do. You'll never work a day in your life. And you know, that kind of segues into the next question and you kind of already answered it a little bit. You know, what do you attribute your success to? You have to love what you do there. You have to have the passion. You have to have the drive to get up and want to make a difference in the world. And I, 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 I as you said, I think I mentioned it there before. I, I love what I do. I love helping people when they walk in the store. I love, uh, I love, I love talking about food. I, I, if anybody who's walked into the, if you ever talked to me, I can talk for hours about the, the, the products in the store and food in general and, and health in general. And uh, yeah, I, it's just a pure, it, I just love what I do. And I think that has a go, goes a long way towards our success. But, you know, when I know when I've been in the store, or even watching your social media, right, you can see that when you're talking about a particular product or the minute anybody walks in, right, you're always there, you're smiling, you're happy, ready to greet, you know, people. And I do think that that definitely goes a very long way, because if you feel welcomed, you're more apt mm -hmm. to come back. And if you don't feel silly about asking particular questions, uh, mm -hmm. you know, then you're going to ask them. There is no such thing as a silly question. There's so much uh, out there that, that there's a lot of confusion that can that, that can come across, and uh, that's 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 why we like having knowledgeable people in the store. Either myself, Shane, or Carmen, at any given point in time in the store, we can answer any of your questions from a, from a health perspective. So, if you had to choose just one product, what would your favorite one be from the market side? From a treat, if if you're if you're just talking pure happiness and enjoyment. That's a, that's something that's relatively good for you. That's that's good for you. The bar none, Nola's butter tarts. From my personal point of view, it's the it's the it's the most uh, it's the best tasting thing in the store at the end of the day. But from a purely um, healthy point of view, there is a product that we carry that's called cultured coconut. So one of the your immune system resides in your gut. So a healthy gut. Is leads to a healthy person at the end of the day. So, and probiotics. Obviously, you've heard a lot about probiotics in the last few years. You'll hear a lot more about prebiotics and a few other things coming up as well too. But with probiotics, the cultured coconut is one of the best probiotics on the market that I've found. It's a it's a Canadian product as well. It's made out in uh, on the East Coast, and uh, it has thirty times the potency of most of the uh, probiotics on the market out there. And well, I can I can talk about it for another 20, 30 minutes. But from a purely healthy point, that's one of the best products we carry in the store. So we know you're a local um, and you believe in local supporting local. Um, mm -hmm. What would be a couple of your favorite kind of places that you frequent regularly around town? I mean, we small businesses have to stick together. So I, I've always supported the local gyms. I'm a, I'm a firepower member. We, I, I know the, the owners are pretty rads and rads. I, I love those places as well. Uh, I stopped bringing my lunch when COVID struck because I, uh, I decided that every lunch I would go out and support a different small restaurant and I'm a I like shawarma I like shawarma salad so I, I pretty much go to I've, I've made my rounds through the shawarma places here in in uh, in uh, in Milton uh, 
I, a lot of the local restaurants, Louise, all these different places I've tried. I, I try to support as much different lo local businesses that I can. I get most of my chicken from uh, Sergeant Farms. I, 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 one of the one of the owners of Pretty Rad and uh, in during the pandemic basically said because of the support he was getting, he. he he swore that he would never spend another dime outside of Milton that he didn't have to. And I picked up on that same philosophy as well. I will not spend another dime outside of Milton that I don't have to. It's a great philosophy. I know I too rotate for sure a lot of the restaurants. Just, uh, before we wrap up here, is there anything last that you'd like to say to our local Miltonians and your supporters out there? First of all, thank you. The uh, at the beginning of COVID, it was the first uh, the first two months were crazy because nobody knew we were open. I mean, we were lucky in the fact that we were half of our business was was, was food, and we were allowed to stay open. We had to pivot the other half of our business, the uh, the coaching online. But uh, the the support that the community has shown uh, the community has shown to us and and uh, has been phenomenal. It's allowed us to survive, and that I, there's no words of thanks that I can that, that I can use to express the support that the community has given for us. And hopefully we'll be around for a long, long time to help support the health and wellness needs of uh, Milton. Well, Colin, thanks so much for taking the time to share your thoughts with me today and all of your supporters. As you know, um, we definitely support uh, Simply for Life and value the way uh, that you make not only myself, but all of your customers feel when they walk through the door. You're always super friendly and your customer service is outstanding. In three short years, you've established a strong connection with the residents and fellow business owners here in town. So everyone, thanks for watching. Once again, I'm Jennifer Feek uh, from Forest Hill Concept and proud sponsor of parkbench.com. Please uh, check us out at parkbench.com backslash downtown dash Milton. And if you have a business and would like to be featured, please reach out to me today. Take care, everyone. Until next time.